Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have Queen of Water with Ace of Water. Someone's finally gaining a deeper understanding of how they feel or you know, where they want to act upon their emotions here. Uh, something that they refuse to see in the past. It's like finally seeing the answers that they need. Uh, reaching your goal, everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future with pay attention to signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidences here. Some of you might even get, be getting uh, signs or um, you know messages from them energetically, especially with the Queen of Water, Ace of Water. Overall energy with the Ace of Pentacles. This is an offer of stability, an opportunity for growth. Okay, something that is going to really breed security and understanding. So let's see what's going on in your energy. We have Queen of Swords, Judgment, and the Page of Swords. So you're kind of showing the world here um, this week that you're not going to let anything or anyone come against uh, your peace. You really are trying to protect yourself. And if things are just not for your highest good or any drama or uh, things that are going to hurt you, you're just going to say no. And you're choosing your best self uh, and self-love as well. But I see with the Queen of Swords... Uh, your goal here is to get your point across, to be able to let people know your boundaries and to understand that you cannot be messed with. You've been hurt deeply here, judgment, and you feel like people have made decisions without thinking about how you feel or not in your best interest. So you feel like now's the time to take charge of your own life and uh, to let people know where you stand. Especially this connection, the Moon Ace of Swords, you know, you're seeing things very clearly. You're not going to let your mind wander. You're staying in control of your thoughts uh, because you realize that when you overanalyze, uh, it just can turn into uh, a big mess emotionally. And it's something that you're just learning to process is to be able to control these things that pop in your head. If uh, those of you have had trouble at work, uh, this is the time where you're finally going to see people give you respect and listen to you, not step over you. Okay, so King of Wands, Hierophant, and the Magician for their energy. We have an energy here of what I see is they can make anything possible uh, that seemed impossible before happen. And feeling very empowered to follow what they desire, something that they feel they haven't done in the past. They've been very cowardly uh, at not achieving something. Almost feeling like a devastating situation where they know they've been looked at as not having integrity due to their actions. And it's wanting to really take charge of a situation and make sure that their intentions are known, but that they are a decent person and that they do have morals. It seems like in the past, it's showing me already that they feel they haven't shown who they truly are. Tell me the King of Wands. King of Cups. This has to do with emotions as well. Uh, for some of you, you might be dealing with someone that does not express themselves at all, but can use the emotions that you have against you, uh, manipulate the situation in ways to make it very difficult to not only understand uh, what they're doing, but also make you feel hurt at the same time, like they're trying to push your buttons or trying to work against this connection. Uh, tell this magician. We have a star card, chariots, yeah. They are trusting in the universe as well, uh, wanting healing in this. They know they've done wrong. Uh, they've not handled things properly or the right way. Almost feeling like they broke the rules here. Some of you know that they did uh, and have betrayed you in a sense because you invested a lot, but it's kind of like they didn't acknowledge how much you put in this, how much you cared for them. Uh, they were just taking advantage of your energy and your emotions. So let's see what's happened in the past. Let's get some more details, even though it's showing me. 
already. We have Lovers, pay, or I'm sorry, Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups again, okay? Yeah, withholding love was their main viewpoint here due to them feeling like they don't know if they can express themselves. Maybe they will get hurt. Uh, this person fears being vulnerable or showing their true self uh, to somebody. They've not really done this in their life. Even family and friends with this person don't really know who they truly are inside. Uh, they know they know them, but they don't know how they truly feel about things and what makes them tick. Almost as if they've been walking around this earth uh, wearing a false mask, trying to appease others. Some of you are dealing with a people pleaser here. Uh, and it became very confusing because there were people pleasing others, but not you. And you couldn't figure out why they would do this. Uh, tell me the Queen of Cups. Four of Wands. And the Strength card. They fell in love with you or fell deeply fast. Uh, they felt very connected to you. Almost as if they had met their twin here. Their match can be dealing with a twin flame uh, situation. But I see that they couldn't control their feelings. And they tamed themselves so much. Tried to push back. Because they felt like you know they weren't going to be able to handle their emotions. Almost feeling like okay, they have to put up extra guards and protect themselves. Because at times they got lost in this love or when they were talking to you and when they would feel that happening to them they became a little rough around the edges they would say things that were you know a little hurtful as well i also uh, am picking up that this love that's here feels very hard to break free from it feels like something that almost is intoxicating at times because it's so deep or it's overwhelming even though it's not discussed it's just you could feel it almost like uh, this energy in the room. It almost feels intoxicating just coming off of these cards. Uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Temperance, and the Sun card for the lovers. For some, you're dealing with someone that uh, doesn't have a lot of confidence in themselves, that they can achieve success. Some of them fear success uh, as well. Feeling like in love, nobody's going to love them for who they truly are because they don't really show their uh, soft underbelly or they haven't told anyone about how they really think or feel because with sun temperance and the eight of swords they're always feeling this self-doubt and feeling trapped in their own head about trusting people or opening up uh, and because you came along it started to make them want to fall into a different pattern want to open up and this made them very fearful almost like yeah again they had to put extra guards up don't they eat a swords please yeah seven of wands nine of wands extra guards uh this person was in protection mode and you felt it you knew it because how they were treating you was very standoffish cold um withholding love so really avoiding any deep conversations as well or opening up emotionally, especially when you did. Yeah, they could be kind of rough in how they talk to you, uh, feel, making you feel rejected. Three of Swords, Hanged Man, Justice, and the World card for the challenge. Yeah, there can be distance here in the worlds, but I see that this has come to a bitter ending, something that was really difficult to process because the Three of Swords here, there was no communication on where they stand and why this was falling apart other than the fact that you had to assume they were just playing with you all along that they were manipulating your emotions and uh, that they didn't really want this hanged man justice it's like no justice was served in this uh, connection it feels like it's still hanging in limbo almost unfinished business that needs to really be dealt with here because there's a lot of brokenness on both sides even though at times they would you know go against this connection manipulate a little bit and try to uh, get what they want some of the three of swords 
Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. This was heartbreaking because it was a connection that was truly special. But you felt like the other party was just not willing to see how special it was or give into it and invest the way you did. And that was disappointing because this love does not come around at all uh, with the Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. And I feel like, why won't they try? Why won't they even just uh, acknowledge that they do have feelings or that this is something that we should at least give it a shot? Don't the hanged man justice. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Some of them are having a difficult decision in deciding what to commit to. Uh, feeling like there was no structure or stability, even if they did choose this connection, that uh, other pieces of their life or another situation uh, would cause uh, chaos in their finances or would cause a problem in their environment. Uh, so you can be dealing with third party, some of you, some with the world card. But in the same token, they're seeing the potential of this if they started from ground zero that it would be even more successful than what they've ever had in their life. So there's a lot of in, inner conflict going on. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, not choosing to really invest in this, but also not putting effort in. With this and the challenge, it's like you paid attention to every detail. You really gave your all. But at the same time, they were fighting against it, putting more guards up feeling like they needed to protect themselves and protect their heart. But you're very confused because you don't understand why. Why are they fighting against something that's beautiful or something that can bring long-term stability? We have Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Wands, and the Tower for what's about to happen. Something unexpected. Pisces, uh, get ready because the wheel is turning and fate beckons now. We have things turning in a different direction and something is about to shift that's going to alter the future of your love life. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop though, thank you so much for joining me. Lots of light and love to you and I will see you next time.